Let's go to Norway. Here we are in Tromso and I've just uh, had a wander around the city over the bridge over there to see and take photographs of the church, the cathedral. And uh, yeah, not a lot of room, there's lots of traffic, there's lots of roads, so there's nowhere apart from being up close to the cathedral. It's the only way of getting a shot. So long exposure, high key, black and white. Uh, I think it was about a 30 second exposure I did, um, which I preferred. Again, just making it pop with a polarizer in the front, just so there was no reflection on their black glass. So we'll see how that comes out, make it really quite high-key and good. Also, on the way back, I came along the main street. Uh, lovely big long street, uh, pedestrian precinct as well, so set up the tripod in the middle of the street and took a shot right down it. Again, slightly long exposure just to blur the, the shoppers. And um, in the end of the street you can see the snow-capped mountains in the far far distance i'm hoping they come out uh, it's quite a nice setting um but the mountains were really far away so hopefully in the camera would have you know, picked it up and um, so i'm really looking forward to seeing that it's quite quite a bit different than what i usually do uh, but yeah it was it was really quite a nice setting very symmetrical with a bit of movement of the the, the shoppers and the people in the main street so that'd be good so now we've got about an hour or so until the ferry leaves and uh, Tromso is renowned for its pubs, its drinking establishments, of which there are many. I think it holds a record. Uh, whether it's just a Norwegian record or a worldwide record, but having so many, so many pubs. Every other place is a pub or a bar or a cafe that also sells booze, and they're busy. So let's do as the locals do and try them out. So another extremely, extremely quick stop um, and uh, we've seen this nice composition here, it's quite textbook but I've just quickly done a panel, hopefully keeping the mountains in the background all in focus as well as these lovely red uh, houses along the front of the water. Unfortunately there's quite a few of them in the shade so the uh, problem with that is it might look a wee bit strange but I've, I've bracketed the exposures for the panorama so hopefully that'll pull back a wee bit of information that's lost in the shadows but we'll see again mad rush there's some beautiful houses behind it all in sun but there's the people's houses and the only way of getting getting to them is going through their gardens which i which I actually did accidentally but they were okay with it but i wasn't going to stop and take a picture <laughs> that would have been uh would have been quite rude shame though because it was a beautiful backdrop they had hence why they were sitting out having a nice meal i don't blame them uh, so anyway, that's uh, quite a good photo. Hopefully it'll come out well. It's a bit trial and error because there's just not enough time to really uh, look around and compose things a lot better. But we'll see how we get on. The 
we are in Hammerfest, just done a pano. Um, nice elevated view, quick 10 minute hike up the hill, nice path to walk up as you can see it's kind of set up for tourists. There's lots of information boards kicking around, but a beautiful view, beautiful day. Sun is shining, still got some snow in the hills over there, although it's uh, in the middle of July. But we are an Arctic Circle after all. Uh, so just a wee walk through the, the, the panel I did, uh, it, it's bracketed as usual uh, and my base exposure is negative one, uh, one stop below and then the two on either side we've got one at perfect exposure and then one at two below, two, stop, uh, two stops below perfect exposure. I very rarely go into the, the plus exposure when I do um, dynamic range, when I do uh, bracketing, it's not needed. You've got enough information in the raw files to pull uh, information out of the shadows and it's a lot better doing it that way than trying to get information out of the, the, the highlights. Or, you know, if you do blow them out, there's just nothing there, so it's a complete waste of time going into that realm of overexposure. Uh, but it's been a lovely trip up, not rushing either, which is fantastic. You can see the Hurtigruten down there, that's the boat we're on, and we're always a, a bit of a mad rush to try and make it to departure time. But we've got a couple of hours here, and it was a very straightforward walk up. So it was nice just to sit back, relax, set up the tripod, get it right, get the, have a wander around first and then get the composition right to try and get as much of the, the town in as possible. And I think we achieved that. It's a nice place, Hammerfest. Now we're going to have a wee look around before the boat departs. <music> Thank you. 